now next to that door is a personal friend of mine. It's Jack Beecham! Yes, boy! Thanks for coming, mate. First of all, you're looking so tanned, it's Friday. Yeah, I mean, I need to impress the man, really. You do, mate. You know this. Gold. Do you, know, do you want the truth? A little bit. I want the truth, mate. Yeah, you want it, don't you? Yeah, I do. No, do you know what? I'm a little bit nervous, but like, sort of more like nervous excitement because I haven't dated in ages. Like, when was the last time you went on a date? All the last dates I've had have been on TV. Well, this one's going to be on TV as well, to oh, be yeah. fair. Your last relationship obviously ended in the public eye. Yeah. yeah. Has that knocked your confidence at all or are you, are you feeling ready? Do you know what? I'm, I'm ready now. I'm, listen, it's one of the things in it. It's life. I, I wish everyone, I want everyone on earth to be happy. I'm ready now though to go date and start having a laugh, man. So He's getting ready. some birds. He's psyched, man. <laughs> Come on. You, you're great. Oh, wait, what's your ideal girl? I had probably what, three serious relationships, like long ones, whatever. You like sort of certain parts of each one mm. of them, but you can't really do that, can you? Yeah, but you can. This is what I like. Actually, I really respect that and I rate that because I think what happens is the, the more you go, go through life and the more you go through a relationship, yeah. you do. You cherry pick little bits you like from that person. Yeah. And you will eventually, hopefully, they will find you that person who has little bits, bits of what you like, of yeah. everything you like. But this is sometimes I'm lost when it comes to relationships. Like having someone to physically say, look, we've got this person here. Give it a go. Mm. Or especially, try, you know, try, you know, people you wouldn't normally go out with or whatever. I want to all go get a shot. I think we should. Should we all go do that? Yeah. As a, as a crew. We'll all go on a date together <laughs> and we'll all see what happens. Hang about. How the hell did you do that? Now, mate, do you know what I turn to if all goes wrong? My mating call. Like, you know. Crack, crack. Mm. Crack, crack. Something like that. So, like, it lets it, them yeah, know that you're, that you're ready. ready. How has that worked so far? I haven't found the right girl with the right call back. But what would your mating call be? If I could do it, it'd be like a lion's roar. Mm. <laughs> Shall I pick that? <laughs> okay, put a little bit of this in your head. Mate, wait, oh, wait, wait, quickly. Oh, the date's gone well. Yeah. You're going for a kiss. Mm. What do you do? Are we talking, do you just close your eyes and lunge, or do you no, ask? You can't lunge, you can't lunge. I lunged and got swerved. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. So I think with the with anything with the kiss, it just happens. And I know it's cringy to say that. I'll take, take the mic out of VL because he, his line was, you know, can I kiss you? Can't that that accent you. was brilliant. You no, know, maybe stroke your hair here. Yeah. Say you've got really beautiful lips. And yeah. Then, and then kiss you. But you can't just go around saying that, right? So That's after, exactly what I did every single date. If you kiss and then you've asked them, then you kiss and then what do you do? Well, you just go lunge in, you go, come on! Uh, yeah. I'm, 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 gonna let, I'm gonna let the kisses happen. Jack, I can't wait to see you ask them to kiss because it's so much harder than you think. And I can't wait to sit there and point at the screen and go, yes. Mate, it's been an absolute oh, pleasure. Cold, You're gonna do so well. Oh. Jack Pinchon. <laughs>